Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eight Worlds, and today we're going to take a look at the semi-auto sniper rifles in Battlefield Hardline. Simthic.com has just released preliminary stats for this game, so I thought it'd be a good idea to take a look at these guns, considering this is my favourite weapon category. One thing I will point out though, even Simphic itself claims that these stats haven't been tested in game, but that being said they are taken from the game files and should be pretty accurate. In any case, this is only a beta, and I think after you see the stats yourself, you're going to come to the same conclusion that I did, that the stats for these guns are probably going to change. But anyway, basically the main thing that you need to know about the semi-autos in the hardline beta is that like in BF4, the stats for these guns are pretty similar across the category. I'd probably even say there's less variation in this game than there was in BF4, and this is part of the reason it makes me think we're going to see big changes to these weapons. As you can see, all of the semi-autos fire at 360 RPM, which is easily fast enough to not cause lag when you're spamming the trigger naturally. They also have the same hip fire and moving accuracy across the board, and the same capacity of 21 rounds or 26 rounds when using extended mags. The differences start to pop up when you start getting into the other stats. For example, all of the guns have a standing accuracy of 0.05, except the PTR, which comes in at 0.1. On the other hand, the PTR has a slightly better muzzle velocity, and it also reloads from empty about half a second faster than any of the other semi-autos. In terms of spread increase, well, all of the guns are pretty similar at 0.3, except for the SOCOM 16, which is slightly less accurate when spammed coming in at 0.6. That being said though, it's probably got one of the easiest recoil patterns of all the semi-autos, which is why I think after using them all quite a bit, I still prefer the SOCOM. Now, as for the other two guns, the SR25 is very similar to the SOCOM, except that it has a ridiculous pull to the right, which you will need to get used to. It doesn't have the spread increase of the SOCOM, but honestly, you'll rarely fire this gun fast enough at long range to notice the difference anyway. The Sega 308 is where we really start to get into new territory, with a greater bullet drop stat and lower muzzle velocity, which is balanced out by a slightly harder hitting damage model. The damage does drop off much quicker than the other semi-autos though, so I guess you could consider this gun the new SKS, because it's much better suited to short range than anything else. Now, if I did have to pick one as my favourite, I'd have to say I'm probably enjoying the SOCOM more than anything, followed closely by the Sega. They just feel nicer to shoot fast because of the easier recoil, and they can both go head to head with fully autos at close range, while still being able to pop snipers at long range. In terms of attachments, I think the heavy barrel and vert grip goes well with all of the semi-autos, but you might want to consider an angled grip on the PTR and a stubby grip on the SOCOM instead. Also, as for an optic, at least for the maps in this beta, I'd stick to a one-time sight and the laser because you're more likely to come across guys in close quarters than you will guys at long range. But anyway, I think it's pretty obvious these guns need a bit more of a tweak, especially in terms of rate of fire, because I don't think these differences set each gun enough apart. I'd like to see the PTR and the SR25 fill a similar role to the SVD and the Mark 11 from BF4, with the SOCOM and the SEGA taking on the role of the faster firing DMRs like the M39 and the SKS. All in all though, I am enjoying the semi-autos because they're not bad all-round weapons, and I really hope they don't nerf them back to the way they are in BF4. If you haven't already tried them out yourself though, make sure you put down your M16A3 and unlock some before the beta ends, because they are a lot of fun to use and they can be surprisingly effective in game. But anyway guys, that just about wraps up this video, so let me know what you think of the semi-auto sniper rifles in the comment section below, and as always, if you like what you see, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you haven't already, please check out all my other Battlefield videos, I've got them all linked in a playlist in the description below, and until next time, see you later, and have a good one.